It's uh, head coach Jeff Choate in studio with us today on Bobcat Thursday, getting ready for Cat Grizz on Saturday. All right, uh, what what are the keys to a Bobcat win for Saturday? What do we need to do? Well, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, football is really a pretty simple game, and I think even you look at last week compared to some of the issues that we've had in the previous weeks, and number one is to take care of the football. We've got to value the football. We can't, um, we can't make decisions that put our defense in bad spots. And a uh, big part of that is Chris just, hey, nothing wrong with throwing the ball away or taking off and running and using your feet if we're passing. And Montana does a great job of uh, what Coach Gregorak calls CPR, club punch rip on the ball. And so we've got to have great ball security. So I think that's the number one priority is can we create some takeaways? Can we take care of the football? I think our run game is critical. If we can get a good groove where we're moving the sticks consistently and not getting behind the chains and having to get into a third and extra long situation, I think that's going to be a big part of our success because I think our offense has got to help our defense in terms of keeping their offense off the field. One of the ways to take a possession away from them is for us to keep the ball. And uh, and I think handling the emotion of the of the moment I and mean, getting into the game, that first five minutes of the game is critical because, you know, if you're too hyped up, you don't execute quite as well. So we've just got to have the, have the right – be kind of in our sweet spot in terms of our level of intensity and focus as well as our emotions and having those under control. And so, you know, us being able to run the ball, stopping their run game, eliminating explosive plays, handling the emotion, I think those are all things to keep an eye on. Sounds easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there well, you go. hopefully some of like the upperclassmen, like the seniors, they've been through this. They can help some of the underclassmen, the, the younger guys like – and it's going to be emotional for them as well, but they've got to check that before you guys walk. Yeah, the field. I mean, there's not a lot that needs to be said on Saturday um, before we go out and play. I think it all has to be about our preparation this week and the focus level that we have, and um, you know, understanding the magnitude of the moment. But you know, hey, wh- what do you want to do? You want to make the plays that make the game, and those plays have got to start early so that you have a chance to get into that fourth quarter, make it a competitive game. I think there's a lot of pressure on Montana in this game because if they win, they can potentially go to the playoffs. I think. Uh, you know, obviously they haven't had the kind of season that they wanted or were ex- expected to have either. And so I think if we can drag them into deep water a little bit, get them into the fourth quarter, make it a really tight game, you never know what's going to happen. They've given up a lot of points, haven't they, on defense? Uh, you know, they've been a really good defense most of the year. Okay. Um, and they've had some moments where that's happened. But it's, you know, hey, I mean, every Eastern Washington scores a lot of points against everybody. And so uh, I think that they've, you know, I, I watch them on film and I think they're a good football team. I really do. Um, I just think that there's been, you know, they've kind of, it seems like there's maybe a little bit of an identity crisis on offense in terms of who's playing quarterback. And uh, they have given up some explosive plays on defense, but that's kind of a uh, byproduct of their style. They're very aggressive. And so they'll make a lot of negative plays and they'll give up some big plays too. And so, you know, it's about leveling that out. How do we not give up those negative plays? Don't worry about having 80 yard touchdowns. Hey, I'd rather have an 80 yard drive where we take six minutes off the clock and keep the ball away from their offense.